Spy Guy here, back with another Transformers review. This time it is of Energon Man Mine. Who is a pretty awesome figure. I mean, he rolls pretty good. Too bad I lost his, um, backpack thing. Which made him look tougher. But, he's an awesome so snowplow. Yeah. I like it. Now onto trans oh and also he has molded in um seats. I find I just noticed that. Anyway. On transformation. First you push up the you push on the arms to release this wheel pack. You push the wheels up and you bring it all the way back to make it into a little backpack. Then you dismantle the plow. You put the pointed part up to his crotch for an armored crotch piece. Then you take these parts, you pull them out, pull them out, and then put them all all the way down, and then plug in for his waist. You pull out the legs, pull out the legs. Right here, you straighten out the foot, and you plug a tab in, and you tab it in. Do the same thing on this side. And then you take out these heels, which actually help a lot. But, the only problem is that he has such huge feet, you gotta position it like that. For some reason, there we go. Yep. You gotta push it down for, like, high heels. Anyway. Then, up here you pull these parts apart, you flip this down, Right here, you from this little tab, you lift up his head, you push this down, flip the arms down, flip, turn the arms around, and you pull out the hand. You push on this side and this side, same time to pull out his hand. You push them, and then you pull. Yeah. There you got Energon Man Line in his regular robot mode without. Super. And he's an ultra class. What makes him an ultra class is that he's taller than a deluxe class. I actually think he was a Voyager. No, wait, ultra because of the backpack. Anyway, the Voyager and the the deluxe class were the only ones to fuse. So yeah, Fire Guy finished with his review of Energon Landmine. I recommend him if you can get him. There's also the repaint of him called, um, Landquake, so yeah.